It's story time! The game of murder she wrote, um, solving more crimes, doing some stuff. Classic Ashley. Tells a funny story. <sighs> I'm a funny story. Ashley story. Funny. Hilarious. Nailed it. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Here we go. Right. Masterpiece of murder. Play. Good morning, Sean. I was supposed to meet Milton Becker here at 10, but the gallery's still closed. I called his house and only got the answering machine. What the fuck's happened to Milton Becker? <laughs> Look at that guy's face! <laughs> Look at his slender nose! Postbox, gonna go through his mail. <gasps> I found a key! I can use that later, oh, okay. did you find the key to the gallery? Look at his elf face! If this is the mystery of finding the village nonce, I think we just found him. Mr. Becker's got a flair for theatrics. I can't cope with this guy's face. He's he's like um, Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. I feel like he's going to tuck his penis between his legs and do a wee erotic dance. Let's poke around and find it. Mm, let's poke around. Poke around her old flaps. Paperclip. Nailed it. Should we talk about Operation Paperclip? The American government's interloping with the Nazis? I don't think we should right now. Oh, there's Larry. The small coastal town of Cabot Cove had about 5.3 murders every year. That would make the murder rate for the town of 3,560 people about 1,490 murders per million people. That's 60% higher than Honduras, where a violent death occurs every 74 minutes, says Paul. So, murder she wrote, factoid, delivered. Oh, I'm whizzing through this like a champ. Now what? How do I get the metal key from out of the bottle? I use my magnet! No, come on. Maybe if I place the magnet closer to the key. Why on earth is there a knife blade with a missing handle? And the guy from the room? Yes! Breaking into Milton's art gallery. Oh no, Milton! <gasps> Milton's dead! And I think it might be a hate crime! Do you think Sean and Donnie are fucking strokes, right? and Melton found sure. out and killed right, and, and they had to kill him well, to keep it a secret because it's a homophobic cove. Paul's dropped some more murder she wrote knowledge. Despite having no children of her own, Jessica had five siblings and at least 12 nieces and nephews. Obviously a Catholic. Right. And I say that from a Catholic point of view, so don't get feisty with me. It looks like the curtain rope is broken. I need to fix it. Why can she not just pull it back? It's a curtain, not an iron wall. A shoe print. I need something to pull the paper out with. But never mind that, Jessica. Whose shoes are they? Get some sellotape and let's make a fucking imprint. <laughs> His name is Maurice Arsenew. <laughs> <gasps> the painting is gone. It looks like someone cut it right out of its frame. Murder, she wrote trivia from Paul. Fellow CBS show Magnum P.I. was struggling in the ratings during its seventh season, so the broadcaster arranged a two-part crossover with the thriving Murder, she wrote. To which Dolly Rot has replied, Magnum has nothing on Jessica. Truth be told. If you've never seen it, right? Go look up the episode of Murder, She Wrote where Jessica Fletcher goes undercover as a hooker. I'm not making this up. It's one of the greatest things ever because she's so shite at it. And her version of what she thinks a hooker is is just great. She's done meth. I think we can all agree that that's going on there. What am I doing? Does anybody know what I'm doing? Poor guy stabbed in the back. I've never seen a stab bone of such a strange shape. Ooh, I wonder what he was stabbed with. A penis? That's an old photo of Donnie and Milton. So I'm going to go speak to Donnie. And the art supply. Oh, no, he's devastated. I'll give him a wee rub. <laughs> you feel better? Ted Cruz, that's who he looks like. Thank you. Okay. 
finding some stuff. What's going on here? I've been raided. I don't know what that means, but I feel very, like, violated, but in a sexy way. What do I do? Should I, like, do something? You have been raided. I'm, I'm very excited by this, but this is, like, my second day on Twitch. What should I do in event of a raid? So, for those of you who's just joined, uh... An art an art gallery owner has been murdered. His brother, who looks like Ted Cruz, probably did it. Or a man who's stuck in a garage. Angela Lansbury's solving the crime and we're helping. Donnie, everything is happening so suddenly I feel numb. You must find out who is behind this. I'm going to find out who's behind it, pal. I can go down here. Well, well, well. What brings you here? I'm, I'm Angela Lansbury. I solve crimes. Do I put the balloons here? Yes! Printer head! I found the fucking printer head! That's the dead body, guys. That's the wee doodly do. Oh, we're on a roll. I'll check your journal. So it's like that. I can faintly make out a signature of someone named Sabrina Arsenault. This looks like an important letter, but the ink has run so it's impossible to read. I wonder if the writing can be recovered somehow. Ink recovery liquid. Is that a thing? Is ink recovery liquid a thing? This is a letter to Milton from the lawyer Sabrina Arsenault. It seems she was ready to press charges against him over something. It's Please don't tell me it's another treasured male artist who's been a beast. Yes. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions, but you seem to be busy. That doesn't matter, Mark. You question people whether they're busy or not. There's a fucking dead body in the gallery. He was an associate of my father's. That's all. Can you show me something that would prove otherwise? It's a weird fucking thing to say. He was associate of my father's. Can you show me something to prove otherwise? She is shady as fuck. I just like steal stuff off her desk. Yes. She sat right there and I'm totally fucking clept one. Oh, they've covered up the body! Finally! Showing the man some dignity. I mean, his hands and feet are still sticking out. But you know what? That's a bit nicer now. I think that we should just go in her art studio, get baked, and maybe explore her lesbian side. Because I always thought that Jessica Fletcher was doing a lot of crime solving to cover up for the fact that she couldn't really explore who she was as a woman who loved women. Okay, I know that you're like, oh, you tried to file open a manhole, Paul, but how many prison films have people escaped from prison because they filed open the bars on their cell with a file that was hidden in a cake. Loads. Natalie's trying to seduce Jessica, says we goat. I agree. Porting also, everybody take a look at Natalie's camel toe. Rejected application to display work at the art galleries around the area. <gasps> Natalie's a shite painter. Let's see this birdie. I think I have an item. I need to free this little bird. Is it the nail file? <gasps> Paul! Eat your fucking words. I just used the file to file through the bars of a jail cell for a bird, but a jail cell none the fucking less. Presby Ashley, the best detective who ever lived. I'm tingling. I'm so excited with my rightness. Paint thinner. Fucking good on you, devil hunter. No, I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I got so excited there. <sighs> I found success in my own small way. He's covering a penis, which is a sign of insecurity. Use the can opener and glue bin. Excellent fucking thought, Paul. No, wrong. Pliers? No. Wrong. Paintbrush? No. Bear? No. Umbrella? No. <sighs> oh, this is this is like out of the box thinking and I'm not good at out of the box thinking. So there's like little pictures flashing on the bear that's the shapes that I'm supposed to get. But my head is in the way so I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> oh no! Creepy Sean. 
Creepy Sean did it. I think Creepy Sean did it because look at his creepy sculptures and people who make sculptures in crime shows are always murderers. Goes that one. Goes there. Okay. I feel like I'm arranging these butt plugs. Oh, I've got the two painting pieces to put in the lesbian's painting. Yes, well done, Devil Hunter. Oh, fucking hell, I hate these things. Poo hole. Yes, creepy doll found! Murder, she wrote trivia. Before Lansbury landed the part, the role of Jessica Flesher was offered to Doris Day. <gasps> Could you have imagined it? Murder, she wrote on the Deadwood stage. I want to look under your curtain so badly, bitch. A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, 6. Okay. Judging by this, you'll know how much I struggle when the bank does that thing where you have to... A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. <gasps> I found a blood-soaked chisel! And I'm starting to rash with the stress of this game. This is great. This is a million times fucking better than Coronation Street. Okay! The door was unlocked. And Milton was dead on the floor with my chisel through his back. I don't believe you. Look at your evil face. Why are we, are we just believing this? this fucking douchehead? He's got a doctor's note to say he's allergic to caffeine. What a douchehead. I'm allergic to coffee, Natalie. You know I am. I have a letter from my doctor. Could be Maurice Arsenault's iconic pipe. <gasps> He's not dead. Halt in the name of the law. Oh! Shot myself. What's this? <gasps> What's going on? Look, it's the guy. It's the guy who's supposed to be dead. Well, well, well. It's the portrait of a garden. Have you ever arrested a dead man, Sheriff? Nope. It's the first time for everything. Yes, we have completed the masterpiece of murder. Oh, that was exceptional. I'm really glad we did that, guys. I feel like I feel like that was really good. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Um, if you want to subscribe, please do subscribe. Let me move my little man over to the other side again. Make him bigger. Oh, I feel so good about myself after that. Oh, okay. Thank you for joining me for another great night of crime solving. Subscribe, like, do whatever the fuck it is you do. I'm exhausted. I did a lot of thinking, a lot of hard thinking there. Hi friends, you can help support this channel by going to ashleystoryshop.co.uk and getting yourself some of my cool merch that says like nice buns or you're excellent or rice to meet you or you can share it with a friend or you can like and subscribe, whatever you fancy. Thank you for watching. I'm Sean. And I'm Ashley. And you can listen to our podcast. Are we being unreasonable? on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Go to Spotify or Apple Podcasts now and subscribe to Are We Being Unreasonable for great, funny conversations with your favourite comedians.